the Tang and Song dynasties in China. Parried works. China is one of the world's oldest civilizations. Historians know that Chinese history dates back to at least 2000 BC, nearly 4000 years before the United States became a country. However, China has not always been the country we know today. In fact, throughout its history, parts of the country were under the control of various kingdoms and warlords, and the different parts of the country were not united, but rather fought against each other for land. It wasn't until 221 BC that an emperor united various kingdoms to form the first Chinese empire. This began the reign of the Qin dynasty, which only lasted until 206 BC. A dynasty is a sequence of rulers from the same family. Eras in Chinese history are named by the dynasty that ruled over the country during that period. Since China was unified, it was ruled by more than a dozen dynasties, each of which helped China grow and advance to become the country we know today. Two of the most important dynasties were the Tang Dynasty and the Song Dynasty. Under the rule of these two dynasties, China saw significant technological and commercial developments which helped the country prosper and grow. Many of these developments made an impact outside China's borders as well, helping civilizations around the world. The Tang Dynasty started ruling in 61880. Scholars generally believe the Tang Dynasty was one of the high points of Chinese civilization. One of the most influential technological innovations of the Tang Dynasty was woodblock printing. Woodblock printing is a technique for printing text, images or patterns. It involves cutting away at a block of wood until a pattern is created. The block could then be covered with ink, and applied to a paper or cloth to create the print. Woodblock printing made it possible for books to be more widely available to the general public. Literacy rates and social mobility increased, and more people from the lower classes were able to pass the examinations to gain entrance into the civil service. Woodblock printing was the most widely used form of printing in East Asia until the 19th century, when the European mechanical printing press became more popular. The Tang Dynasty was also a high point for China for trade with the outside world. During this period, the Chinese conducted trade by land using the Silk Road, and maritime trade at sea. The Silk Road is the name of an ancient trading route that extended from Europe, through many countries in Asia, all the way to China. It was named the Silk Road because silk was the main item traded along the route from China. While the trading route was established centuries before the Tang Dynasty, it had been closed at some point until the Tang Dynasty reopened it. During this period, the Chinese also increased their maritime presence in the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. Thanks to the increased trade, the Chinese gained many new technologies, cultural practices, and luxury items from the 70, or more, countries it traded with. Buddhism and Islam also came to China through trade with India and the Middle East and Buddhism became an especially important and influential religion during this period. At this height of trade and culture, China also attracted thousands of people from foreign countries who wanted to live and trade in China, bringing diverse culture and wealth to the country. The period after the fall of the Tang Dynasty was filled with chaos, and the country rapidly changed hands between several different regimes. In 960 AD, the Song Dynasty took power. In the eyes of scholars, the Song Dynasty also ranks with the Tang Dynasty in terms of economic growth, artistic and intellectual achievement. The time under the Song Dynasty is sometimes regarded as the start of the Industrial Revolution in China. The economy of China during this period was one of the most prosperous and advanced in the entire world. The iron industry grew more than sixfold during this period, and China continued to be an important figure in world trade, bringing iron, silk, porcelain, textiles and much more to its trading partners.